It has been a pleasure, Mr. Wick. It's often who we take for granted we miss the most. Such is the legacy of Lance Reddick, a lifelong admirer of music, forced into an acting career to make ends meet after suffering a severe back injury pulling a double shift, waiting tables, and delivering newspapers. Later graduating from the Yale School of Drama with a Master of Fine Arts degree, he derived inspiration from his classmate Paul Giamatti and acting role model Daniel Day-Lewis. With a deep, resonant voice, Reddick had an affinity for accents. Evident in his most iconic role in the John Wick franchise as the mysterious Mr. Sharon, concierge at the Continental Hotel. How good's your laundry? I'm sorry to say that no one's that good. He liked to fully immerse himself into his characters as a transformational performer, often rehearsing his lines in front of a mirror. With a career starting in television, shows like New York Undercover, Oz, Law and Order, and The Wire, he began to be typecast as a powerful authority figure. I suggest you lower your gun. Reddick took this in stride, honing his craft with appearances in Lost, CSI Miami, The Blacklist, Intelligence, Castle, and Young Sheldon. But perhaps his most memorable role on the small screen was playing Philip Broyles, special agent in charge with the Department of Homeland Security, tasked with investigating paranormal events requiring expertise on the fringes of modern science. On Fringe, widely regarded as one of the best science fiction drama series put to air, Reddick played a no-nonsense tough guy who steadfastly led and defended his team against sinister forces across the multiverse from the past and the future. Prior to his passing, Reddick was still a much sought-after voice actor for roles in animation and video games, with titles like Beware the Batman, Destiny, and The Legend of Vox Machina to his credit. In 2007, he brought his passion for music full circle with the release of an album, featuring his compositions entitled Contemplations and Remembrances. Twice married, he is survived by his wife and two children. And for someone we'll always remember as a trusty caretaker of John Wick's dog, Perhaps fittingly, Reddick was said to have been very much devoted to his three dogs. A towering presence, a loving family man, and in his own words, an artist at heart. Be seeing you. Is the manager in? The manager is always in. <laughs>